Hello everybody, this is Kiran and today we will be talking about mobile application testing. Now, we have talked about so many different types of testing. So, mobile testing, mobile app testing is also one of the most integral uh, part of testing nowadays because the applications, uh, the mobile app building is happening in so, so uh, high demand and all the websites are now mobile applications and with the emerging uh, technology in mobile uh, mobile phones the app the testing of the app is equally important as the website testing so uh, what we have to understand here is what is mobile app testing so it is a process which is done on a software application which is developed or for mobile devices be it android be it ios for any platform the different mobile applications develop so we have to do the testing on those applications so that is mobile app testing now it can be automated or manual both it can it can happen uh, manually if you're doing it manually you can do it on uh, mobile devices emulators or if you're doing it auto using automation you can use different tools like apm for uh, automating the test cases on mobile applications right so moving forward what are the types of mobile app testing software or application testing and hardware testing so yes you have to be uh, checking the hardware aspects also when you're actually testing mobile apps because the compatibility on different devices for which the software has been made is very important to check which all hardware components uh, which are hardware configurations are required for a particular application is important to uh, be noted so uh, the application the software application testing is uh, the applications which actually work on the mobile devices it is called mobile app and hardware testing is the device which is used to do the testing so we have to check the processors internal processors the hardware uh, screen sizes resolution spaces memory bluetooth wi-fi camera radio everything so because we can we know that in various apps we use different internal apps of mobile also so suppose you're using uber you're using location you're using camera you're using uh, calling so so many things are integrated together so so to check that to check the how the software is integrating to other softwares we have to have proper knowledge on what configurations or what hardware configurations we are testing on so software testing includes, so if you're actually doing the mobile app testing, it includes native app testing and uh, mobile or server side app testing and hybrid app testing. Now native app is the application which is created for to be used on a platform like mobile or tab and mobile or server side apps, they are basically created or to be used in different browsers like Chrome, Firefox in the mobile phones. So they are mobile or server side apps and hybrid app will be the combination of both native and web apps. So these are the types of uh, software testing. Now challenges will be, of course, there will be cons and challenges uh, for any kind of testing. So there are different ranges of mobile phones available. Uh, there are so many different devices. So it's not possible to actually test on all the devices or all different uh, types of devices. So there are, that is one certain uh, challenge in case of mobile app testing. Wide variety of mobile devices. Now different range would uh, mean different types and varieties will be in form of built in form of versions. So we have to check on different versions of the same brand and then different brands available. So that is uh, important to understand, right? Then different mobile operating systems. Yes, we have Android phones, we have Windows phone, we have iOS phones. So the different operating system needs to be uh, tested separately. Only then we'll be able to say that yes, 100% testing has been done. Different versions of operating system. So as uh, we see, we keep on uh, upgrading the Android versions, iOS versions. So how do you make sure that you have tested in all the active versions of uh, any operating system? Uh, different mobile network operators again. So we have so many different operators uh, which provide uh, network on uh, mobile devices. So that can also affect our testing. And of course, there are so many frequent updates of the 
versions of the software we are using on so we have to take care of all these challenges uh, and we should know where we are testing right now like which device we are testing which operating system we are testing which brand of mobile we are testing which version of the mobile we are testing which release of the mobile we are testing then uh, what uh, operator we are uh, testing on which network operator we are testing on which uh, what is the update right now what is the number uh, of the version as i already said so yes you have to always take care of all these things when you're actually doing mobile app testing now which all kinds of testing is performed on uh, mobile app is functional performance security usability then we have a, a user interface of course ui testing compatibility testing configuration and installation testing so we have already discussed about all these different types of testing so when we are actually doing functional testing we are actually check checking the business flow logics of the software we are actually trying to test performance testing when we are doing we are trying to check the performance aspects non functional aspects of the software as in uh, what if it is able to bear the load or uh, it is uh, able to bear uh, how you know when many people are accessing the device or the software at the same time what is the performance then security aspects so that uh, if there is an otp which has been applied then uh, it is breached or it is being breached or not so security concerns usability how easy it is for a new person to understand that application on any mobile device right usability user interface ui testing that whether the ui is not uh, is perfect in all the different devices we are testing or it should not break and compatibility very important different browser compatibility different operating system compatibility whether the software we are testing is compatible on different kinds of devices it has been meant for configuration testing the uh, application server database server uh, how uh, it is integrating with all the different servers and able to respond to it and installation how easy it is to install on different kinds of app, uh, mobile phones so yeah that is uh, these are the kind of tests we have to conduct we have to follow different strategies when we are actually doing mobile app testing so we have to select the device we have to analyze the market and choose the right device which the client is actually intending to test on then if uh, we are not having real devices then we have can we can use emulators the use of uh, these uh, is extremely useful because uh, we might not have the exact devices which we want to test on so emulator is a system that runs software from one environment to another environment without changing the software itself it duplicates the feature and work on real systems so it will help us uh, act like the exact mobile phone we want to test on and we can test on emulators also now there are different kinds of mobile emulators if we quickly can go through it is device emulator browser emulator and operating system emulator so basically device emulator will be giving you a feel of the exact device and browser emulators we can always uh, you know it simulates the mobile browsers on different environments and operating system is a uh, uh like let's say apple provides emulators for iphone microsoft for windows phone and google for android phones so different operating systems uh will provide different emulators now let's say if we talk about some of the scenarios which we must test as a mobile app testing is battery usages it is very important to keep a track of the consumption of the battery while running the software we are trying to test or the application we are trying to test the speed of the application should be good enough the response time for every action we are doing on that application should be very very less so that we have a good speed on of that application the application should not be so heavy that it's not it's making the phone slow and we are not able to actually uh, use the application properly the data requirements so we should know that how much uh, uh, mobile data has to be there and uh, how much it is downloading how much data it is consume, consuming so data requirements is important memory requirement is very important that how much space the um, application is taking so if a mobile app a mobile doesn't have an enough app enough for memory then we won't be able to install that app if it requires a lot of memory so we have to have a calculation on that also functionality of the application of course it should not change in any other any device it should always be Uh, working smooth so these are the test scenarios so that's about uh doing mobile app testing uh and uh, we have a browser stack where in we get a feel of all the different browsers uh, and uh, devices and we can use it for also mobile app testing there are different flavors of browser stack when in we have uh, 
browser stack live and um, for uh, using only browsers and also for the more different devices uh, all over the world so we can use any one from there in the paid version of browser stack and we can do testing in mobile apps for manual testing and in automation we can use uh, apm and uh, we can do the integration of apm and uh, do the testing of any of the mobile apps uh, that is dot apk for android and dot ipa for ios applications so that's all from the mobile app testing class uh, see you in the next session guys thank you